Uh, hello everybody, I'm going to continue my talk about the visual field interpretation. As I said before, I'm focusing on the Humphrey visual field. I started my talk about the patient data and the uh, data of uh, the machine. Today I'm going to talk about the sensitivity, threshold numerical map and the grayscale map. And also I will talk about the total deviation in numerical map and pattern deviation numerical map. Let's start by the sensitivity numerical map, which is in the left. You can see the numbers on this map and the grayscale, which is on the right. You can see it's like a dot or, or a plot. The sensitivity numerical map, as you can see, it is the uh, measured threshold value for uh, these locations. As I said before, the visual threshold is the intensity of the stimulus that can be seen 50% of the time at each location. It is measured by the decibel, uh, which uh, measures the sensitivity of each location. And the higher numbers in these numerical maps indicate to that these locations have higher sensitivity and need lower intensity stimulus. Like this number, 31 in this location and uh, 32 in this location, these two locations are near to the fixation and need lower intensity stimulus, so they have a higher sensitivity. Whereas the lower numbers, as the numbers on the periphery, like this one, 23, and this one, 27 decibel, uh, the sensitivity at these locations uh, is uh, low, and they need higher intensity stimulus to stimulate these locations. These, the sensitivity in numerical map, which give us the measured threshold value for each test location. Now the grayscale map, which uh, representing the sensitivity with a lighter region, uh, which indicate to higher sensitivity as inside this uh, red area, and the darker regions indicate the lower sensitivity as in this uh, blue area and the green area. Now, uh, total deviation numerical map and pattern deviation numerical map. In the uh, left, you can see the total deviation. These numbers are the total deviation. And to the right, you can see the pattern deviations. Also, you can see many numbers. Uh, what total deviation means? Total deviation. Uh, it is the decibel deviation of the measured threshold value which is presented in the uh, sensitivity numerical map from the age matched control at each point. And the average of all these numbers on the total deviation uh, is the main deviation. I will talk in details more about the main deviation later on. So these numbers in the total deviation are the difference between the measured threshold values and the age matched control at each point. The pattern deviation, it is also the decibel deviation of the adjusted values of the sensitivity numerical map from the age matched control at each point. As it is derived from the total deviation after adjustment of the measured threshold values by adding upwards or downwards deducting 
by the amount which reflects any generalized change in the threshold of the last damage portion. The machine statistically will find the 85% location where is the generalized change in the threshold of the least damage portion and will calculate how many decibel will uh, adding upwards or deducting downwards from the measured threshold value which present on the numerical sensitivity map for the patient will adjust all the measured threshold values in this map then will calculate the decibel deviation from these adjusted threshold values from the age matched control at each point to understand more about the total deviation numerical map let's say that this green line is the normal database for the same age of the patient and these the red dots are the measured threshold values for different location which present on the uh, sensitivity numerical map you can see it and the decibel deviation of these red dots from the green line the green arrows it is the decibel deviation which presents in total deviation map the, uh, the numbers in the total deviation maps are the differences between the measured threshold value and the normal database for the same age and the average of all these numbers in the total deviation map will give us the main deviation also to understand the numerical pattern deviation map let's say that these numbers are the normal threshold value of the same age and these are the measured threshold value for the patient presents on the sensitivity numerical map and the machine will find the 85 percent location for example here 32 for the normal database and 28 for the patient and will uh, you see the difference between 32 and 28 is 4 decibel the machine will adding or deducting this 4 decibel from the measured threshold value of the patient to give us adjustment value of the sensitivity in numerical map let's go here to see the normal age the green line and the green dots are the measured threshold value which presents in the sensitivity numerical map and the red dots are the adjusted uh, threshold value for the same location by adding or deducting the amount uh, which reflect the generalized change in the threshold at least the damage uh, portion the value of 85 percent and the differences between this uh, these red dots and the uh, normal age the green line the red arrows are the numbers of the pattern deviation so the pattern deviation numbers are the decibel deviation of the adjusted th measured threshold value from the uh, normal age database at each point also to understand more let's say that this the sensitivity numerical map and this is the total deviation map we have this location the measured threshold value at this location is 30 and the decibel deviation of this location 30 minus the normal age value will give us minus 2 decibel in the same location on the total deviation 
So we can calculate the normal age uh, value. It is 30 plus 2, it will give us 32. So the normal age at this location, 32. But the measured threshold value at this location is 30. And the decibel deviation between them are minus 2 will present on the total deviation. Now we have the pattern deviation on the same location. The machine will adjust the threshold value and will, de, uh, will uh, calculate the decibel deviation of the adjusted threshold value uh, from the normal age value, which is 32, will give us minus 3 inside the green circle, will give us on that pattern deviation after adjustment. We can find that the value at uh, this uh, 30 uh, decibel location after adjustment will become a 29 decibel so the adjustment at this point is reducing this location by one decibel so 30 the measured threshold value the adjusted um, threshold value is 29 there is reducing uh, by one decibel the adjusted value minus uh, the normal age value which is 32 will give us the value minus 3 on the same location at the pattern deviation thank you for listening